Hello, my gorgeous Aquarius. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling amazing. Aquarius, I truly hope that this week has been kind, patient and generous for all of you, for the collective watching this. And if it hasn't, if it's been a very challenging week for you, my beautiful water bearers, well, I am sending you a massive, squishy, very warm and loving virtual hug, all right? Next week is a brand new week. So Aquarius, let's get, let's get straight into it. I don't like to lose any time. So usually I do start with the tarot cards. Now I have this deck and I haven't used it in probably a very long time. In fact, I'm not even sure if I've actually ever used it on YouTube and I've always had it to the side. I have a lot of different decks, but because I want to get to the bottom of something for you, uh, Aquarius, I want to find out about a particular person that you know of. They're on, they're on your mind. Perhaps they're living rent-free rent in your heart space. And I want to see what are their true feelings for you, regardless if you are with them right now or not, if you're talking to them or if you're not, if it's on again or off again. I usually find out pretty early, but I want to pull out five cards and I want to see roughly where your energy is at with this person, please. Their true feelings. And of course, when we have their true feelings, it also shows their intentions, right? And everything unravels and it shows uh, their agenda, possibly also some actions. Let's see, two more. Wow, okay. I have, I don't wanna pause the video and I'm gonna take out all of these cards because there's a reason why they all come out. Bottom of the deck. Ah, this person, look at this, wasting time stuck, no changes, limited. This could also be limited beliefs, limited thinking here about themselves. All right, let's talk about the big energies before we move on into tarot. Someone's watching you. We have stalker, stalking, watching, obsessed with you. All right, so this person is watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. This person's also haunted. Memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects, perhaps something that they did to you something that they said to you in the past. You might have even told them the truth about something and they're ruminating. More please. Yeah, they're hooked on you. They could be emotionally attached to you as well. Very slippery cards. So what happens when you haven't used them in a while, but I felt very compelled to use them actually. We also have legal issues, court, judges, immigration, lawyers, etc. That could also be, like I said, court proceedings, um, money, assets, child, um, and also spousal support. This person could also be moving physically from houses, but also wishing to move closer to you. Uh, this person's very into you. Good chemistry, good vibes, positive. And also they're hustling, making it rain, focused um, on money and also getting it. So get, I can see this person's trying to get their life sorted after something that happened. Something that I'm gonna say very close to home, but this person is keeping tabs on you and they're ruminating a lot about the past here but they are stalking you. Well, I wouldn't say kind of like as in stalking, you know, but it's almost like definitely keeping tabs. It's very like page of swords um, energy there. Mm, all right, so it appears that you're not talking to this person. You've gone your separate ways. There was a fallout. Let's see, what else can we do? Just saying no more. Okay, thank you, spirit team. Four more, three more, two more, last one. That's interesting. Why aren't they coming to you though? If, you know, clearly they've probably, like I said, they've done something wrong. So now they're just watching you from afar and they're pretty much suffering in silence. We've got the nine of wands, Sagittarius energy. That's the wounded warrior, right? The wounded warrior that is tired, beaten down, but they're not giving up though. No, 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 no. They, they don't want to be single. And there's a fear here that they want you to remain single here as well. Nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. Yeah, I think they're going to talk to you about something. Ace of Swords, we've got Libra, we've got Aquarius and Gemini energy here. They're afraid of how you're going to react, Seven of Wands. See how defensive you are there? Leo energy, and there you are. But will Aquarius please talk to me? Five of Cups. That illustration speaks volumes. Look at that, that's our Scorpio energy. This person is mourning and crying over love lost over the death of this relationship. 
Interesting. How long has it been? We know who this person is. They're, they are the ones perhaps that you're thinking about. They're on your mind. They're in your heart space. All right. The current energy between the both of you, please, is the devil. Capricorn energy. So I'm going to say that there probably was some toxicity here between the both of you. This could even be that maybe there was a toxic third party. Your person had addictions, dependencies, emotionally attached to you as well. Maybe they just actually also suffer from their shadow side. But this could also be, you know, they're just very impulsive here. They get tempted very easy. Where are you at with this person, please? Yeah, you don't know where you're at yet. You're being a bit secretive here. And I don't think that's a bad thing. High Priestess, you might be dealing with the Pisces. Don't have to be. Your intuition is at an all-time high. And I love that about you, Aquarius. You're the water bearer. You're known as the most intelligent star sign. You can, you know, where there is, you know, um, chaos, you find solutions. But at the moment, you're a bit of a mystery, but they are also a bit of a mystery. So we really don't know exactly what's going on with each other. And I think it's because your person is kind of, stalking you watching you keeping tabs on you incognito far away though where are they at with you please emotionally so we're all talking about emotions here um mm, the world and it's about you because we have taurus leo scorpio aquarius energy this may be also um, be at a distance like a long-term relationship so i can see her emotionally perhaps because your person is especially ruminating and they're haunted by the past here I don't think that they want this to be over. This is when we usually come full circle. And it's like, okay, you know what? That was a past, it ended. I'm going to open up a new chapter for my life. No, they want this new chapter with you. Um, they want to talk to you. That's what they want to do. And I can see that there's something happened in their personal life, whether it was with legalities and now they're trying to, you know, save up their money. They're trying to get their life sorted. They could be moving location, even jobs. Emotionally, where is your person at when no one is looking? They've got the Emperor, the Divine Masculine, Aries energy. Yeah, they're definitely trying to get their life sorted. And emotionally, they want to impress you. They want to take control of this situation here. I just think that your person may suffer just a little bit from stubbornness, like my way or the highway. It's always been done this way, Aquarius. So how dare you think outside the box? Because that's what you do, Aquarius. You always think outside the box. You're you know, eccentric, you know, like I said, you find solutions when perhaps for the last hundred years, people were trying to look for a solution. Then you come along and it's like, well, just do this. We found the solution. So, you know, <laughs> um, they really need to start listening to you, but they really want to be more in control of their emotions here. I want to see here if there's any, any mutual energies here between the both of you, especially to do with emotions um, about moving forward, perhaps. And yeah, I think both of you do want to talk. We have the Eight of Wands, the second fastest moving energy in the deck. That is Sagittarius energy. Again, there might be some distance here for some of you. I'm getting like it's almost half of you that may be in a long distance relationship. So this is Cupid's arrow. It's love messages. It's the bearer of good news. And it's, you know, the capacity here to move forward at a quick, rapid rate here. Now let's analyze the cards. We got all major arcanas. So that means two things for you Aquarius. One, things are going to happen very fast. The more majors, the quicker things are going to speed up because you are both ready perhaps to face each other and talk because this is incoming, outgoing, incoming, outgoing and so forth. The second one, your spirit team and your person's spirit team are definitely working behind the scenes. There is change happening here and you probably know many of you are probably reaching um, a certain level of an ascension. You might be, might be having ringing in your ears, headaches, you've lost your appetite, you're really tired. Or you feel like everything's like fake this aquarius is super intelligent so things are moving very fast for you emotionally what else is going on with your person that we should know about in regard to you you got the surprise card page of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy so emotionally they know they need to do the correct thing and apologize to you because i know here that they are being haunted by something they said to you by something they did, how they conducted themselves, how they let you down. They let themselves down too, the whole relationship, you know, the team and how they disappointed you. Um, this is Cupid, well, it's more like Cupid's arrow, love messages backed by love, fueled by emotions. They wish to have a budding romance and the waves there, as we can see, represents the highs and lows of their emotions. So um, is a person hiding anything? Look at this, more major arcana is the death card, Scorpio energy, the card of fate. I really don't feel your person is hiding anything bad, but there is definitely something that has wrapped up in their life. Could have been a, a relationship, a friendship. 
something that was quite toxic and affecting this relationship. Um, and that that's come to an end. Another thing, I think your person is really working on themselves. So they're not hiding anything bad. You know, this is about death and rebirth, even of our own attitude. And this is transformation. So I think what they, it's like they're preparing themselves. They are returning as a different version, but a, a wiser version. Um, any advice, please, from your spirit team, please, in regard to this person is justice. That is Libra energy. As soon as I saw this card, it's like your spirit team is saying, can you be fair? Just be fair. In other words, we don't have to take this person back. Another major, of course, another major arcana. Um, but just, just listen. You don't have to promise this person anything because I can already see here that uh, you're not telling anyone how you feel about this person. And by golly, they don't know you know, how you feel. It's, you know, we've all become a bit of a mystery here to each other. And because that's because enough time has passed too. And a lot has happened, right? Um, yeah, but th you're about to also receive a genuine apology bas bait, you know, backed by facts. And of course, we also have your person wishing to balance in. They want to earn your trust, love and respect back here. But I don't know why they're saying to also be fair. You're going to have a massive chance to speak your truth. But they also want to talk here as well. So, OK, let's see. I just want to see where you're more inclined to go toward this person in the outcome. We have another page. That's the student card. So you both have learned massive lessons. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy right there. Mm. That's face-to-face -face communication. So I think you'll accept this person's offer. You'll be tempted. I think you're going to see them in the middle, at least to hear them out, just to be fair. Split the deck. Yeah, we've got the King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer Energy. This person loves you. They love you hard, unapologetically. I think they're just trying to work up the best way to express it to you. So I do want to get more messages, please. There is a lot that's going to be happening. Split the deck, Ace of Wands. Look at that fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a fiery, passionate new start. That's what they want, at least. Mm. Two more, please, after this. And the last one for my beautiful Aquarius, the water bearers. Some call you the scientist as well because... Um, some, it's been said some Aquarius love science fiction. You love science, figuring things out. You always think outside the box. That's definitely what you do, Aquarius. Natural leaders, what do we have, please? Yeah, two of swords. You're going to have to make a decision between the head and the heart. Where are you more leaning towards, though? Two more. Last one. Here we go. All right, so clearly there was a falling out here. Your person's, um, I'm going to say it's also their immaturity in the past, but now they have grown up. Yeah, look at that. They want to be fair. Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. They want to work things out here. I feel like your person definitely could be in the midst of, or even on the tail end, you know, at the end of some kind of legality here. Uh, you know, court proceedings, a judge trying to be fair with, you know, money, assets being divided and all that. Six has moved on to the seven, more Taurus energy. Your person's hoping here at least that you can think of the bigger picture, long term, to please at, at least be fair and consider, just consider, it's a passing thought of reinvesting in this relationship. Yeah, they're building up their strength here. Leo energy to face you for situations like this. And they're gathering their thoughts. We have the four of swords, Libra energy. Rest, recuperation, recovery, there's healing, and they're gathering their thoughts on what to say. In fact, they're doing it so much, they probably have got mental, um, you know, it's kind of like that exhaustion. We've got the King of Cups again. We, so we're definitely talking about the same person. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. It's funny how they've got barnacles on them, but this person absolutely, mm, this person really loves you. They never stop loving you. And we've got the Hierophant, Taurus, Energy, or the High Priest, this is all about committing to you. They want to do right by you. Go down the right path to kind of, well, win you back. The devil pleases the current energy, followed by let's get to the truth of this, please. Ace of Swords, there you are. That's going to affect you because that is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. They want to tell you if they were tempted by someone else, if they were dealing with dependencies, whatever was damaging this relationship, whether it was to your face or behind your back, you're going to find out everything because they know this is the right thing to do. Let's talk about you as the high priestess. Yeah, I think emotionally with that seven of cups, Scorpio energy, you're just a little bit over the, all over the place. You know, I feel like their emotions are a little bit more secure 
Whereas Aquarius, you're probably thinking, I don't know, I, you know, I, I, I want to see if there's anything else out there. Don't know if I want to stay single, travel. You may have your eye on someone else. So we might be feeling a bit emotionally confused, a bit flat, a bit all over the place. So I think this is probably why your spirit team is aware of that. And that's why they're saying you don't have to do anything. You don't have to promise this person anything. But why don't we try and balance this situation by just having a bit of equal give and take now. Your person is the world. Clearly, they're thinking about you. And they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. Virgo energy, that's the dream life manifested. It's having it all with you, but really feeling rich, abundant in life with you. They also want to take control of their emotions with the emperor. We've got the page of pentacles coming out twice. So they will be messaging you and they want to see you face to face. In fact, I'm hearing this person can't wait to talk to you. I'm hearing they want to settle something. Clear the air. Let's talk here about the eight of wands. That's mutual energies. We do have mutual energies as the nine of cups. Pisces energy right there. That's interesting. I feel here that you have a soft spot for this person, even though you're very realistic, you're very grounded, you've got a good head on your shoulders, you're very mature. I think they'll forever have a soft spot in your heart. This person though, with all these cups are seeing absolutely Aquarius is my dream person. They are the one, my wish fulfillment. If I could have one wish granted, I wish that Aquarius would just look at me and just give me one more chance. Hopefully forgive me in due time because there's that apology as well. Yeah, the apology to you, Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy, they were not honest with you and they know that you don't trust them. This is a card of lying, cheating, stealing. I don't like seeing this card, but I do like the placement of where it is because the page of cups is an apology of if any, any other reason why they were not honest with you. And I can see here, they're already seeing that probably you're not even going to believe them. And you know what, Aquarius, you don't have to because a lot of damage was done here, thanks to them and their immaturity. But they will still keep pursuing you though. I can see this, the death card, please. Emotionally, there's been a transformation with you. That is you right there. The star card is Aquarius energy. You might be dealing with a fellow Aquarius, could be strong, somewhere strong in their chart. That is the North Star, the card of hope, faith, miracles, the wishing star here. They want to heal things so much with you, but this is more about that emotional healing. Justice for you, please, is the outcome. And wow, I see that you're going to meet them in the middle. Take that first step. I see that you're a little bit guarded there with that Knight of Wands. You might be dealing with a fellow fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. But there you are acting as a true leader, meeting them in the middle and saying, OK, tell me whatever it is that you need to say, because I have a lot to say here as well. I can really feel that the majority of you watching this are very assertive. And I absolutely admire that. I love that. We need more assertive people to speak their truth here. And you're going to do it. Where are you more leaning towards in the outcome, please? So the page of pentacles, Capricorn energy. And we have a four of pentacles, Capricorn energy. So, okay, there's a part of you that is a, that's finding it a bit of a challenge to let this person go. But I feel like you need a bit of time here alone to consider everything. Again, I think that's very intelligent. That's very smart. You don't have rose tinted glasses on. You're not just running back to this person, you know, doing cartwheels saying all is forgiven, water under the bridge. You need a bit of time. This is a bit of a gray area for you. I think in the end, in due time with that two of wands, you'll reapproach this relationship, Aries energy with more of a fresh eyes, a fresh outlook. I'm hearing some of you just want to start off as friends, but let's, this keeps splitting, but I don't want to split it like that. Let me just air it out. Yeah, we've got the Eight of Wands. So if you remember, we had the Eight of Wands in the middle and now you've got the Eight of Wands. So I do believe that you're going to say to this person, um, more Sagittarius energy, it's like, you know what, for now, I'm not going to promise you anything. Let's just take it day by day. It's going to take time to trust you, to even fully love and respect you, but um, and to, to see you in a new light. But I am seeing a reconciliation, but I'm seeing a slow burner, but it's going to be... It's going to be right. You're doing it right, Aquarius. And this person, what I do like is that they are fully aware of the damage that they have caused and they have changed. That's why we have the death card. Emotionally, they have transformed thanks to you, though. So this is going to be a successful uh, reunion. In the meantime, Aquarius, if you don't mind, yes, they are absolutely watching you. They're ruminating, you know, and they're trying to get their life sorted for you. So, wow. Now we know where they are emotionally. And that also has revealed you know, their intentions, their agenda, and their next move. So Aquarius, um, yeah, with all these major arcanas, this will happen for me sooner rather than later. 
So I'm definitely going to say anywhere within two to three months, if not sooner. So power to you. Thank you for joining me. Never ever change for anyone. And I will see you in the next couple of days. Bye Aquarius.